Howdy everyone. Last time I showed how I got a free 3D printer from Make It World. So today we're running it back. I designed my own projects, upload them to Make It World, and let the world download and use them for free. And the best part, you can earn points just from people downloading and interacting with your designs. Those points can turn into real gift cards. That's exactly how I got enough to buy the Bamboo Lab AMS unit without spending my own money. Well, I spent $2.09. That's better than $300. There are no tricks, no gimmicks, just creating, sharing, and redeeming. I'll link my maker up below to see what I create. I had to print a few accessories for the AMS so that I made sure that I was using it efficiently and to make sure that it was keeping my filament dry. I had to buy a hygrometer so that I can make sure that the humidity stayed low within the AMS. This helped out immediately once I put it inside. Fits perfectly and I also bought some desiccant silica gel so that I can pour within the cavities of those 3D prints. This also helps keep the humidity down and keep my filaments dry as they can be. I wanted to show this video of me buying the machine and also plugging it into my own printer. This was actually quite fun to do and it had a little bit of ASMR in it with those beads falling in. So I had a good time. I also had to take out the two desiccant pads that was already installed in the AMS. I just unwrapped them out of the package and put them right back into the slots. And they come with their own covers. So this is really easy. It came with four items, PTFE tube, the screws, the buffer, and the bus cables. All you are doing here is connecting the new PTFE tube to the tube that's already connected to your printer. Then you're going to add the filament buffer to its place. Make sure you have the right Allen wrench to screw that in. You're going to connect both those PTFE tubes that you connected to the printer to the filament buffer and you're going to connect the tube from the AMS to the filament buffer and you want to make sure those are both snugly secured in. And lastly you're just going to find those bus cable spots. It's just two pieces that you need to connect on the side of the printer and on the bottom of the buffer. Another cable goes on the side of the buffer and into the AMS, and that's essentially it. It should be on and running. You'll see that with the blinking lights. To make sure your AMS is connected properly, just go to your screen and make sure you see the words or letters AMS. And then you're going to get a prompt to update your machine, and that's going to come every time. So just going to wait for that to finish, and then you have your new AMS so that you can get into some more new fun projects like me. So tag along.